Hello Flippies! Today I'm taking you to the cute exhibition in London in the Somerset House and it's in collaboration for the 50th anniversary of Hello Kitty and there's also the special art box pop-up cafe that we're so excited to go visit. Let's go! We are back at the hotel. Let's debrief. I was so excited to go see this expo and the cafe. So let's talk about the expo first. I thought it was a huge part about Hello Kitty because they said it's in collaboration with the Sanrio and the 50th anniversary of Hello Kitty and there was one section with actually a collector who shared all her collection and then there was the super cool door and then a lot of plushies and the Hello Kitty disco and that was it actually that was done by the expo or anything and I don't think that the fact that one fan shared her collection was actually a lot done by the people of the exhibition of curating it. Honestly, I loved it, but because it was a fan's collection and the rest, like the room with the cutout of the face and the disco, that was great. That was the best part. We took cool photos. That was nice, but a little bit small. And then the rest of the expo. The start before that was introduction of kawaii and cute culture and everything this was really interesting and very old illustrations and books and um, things like that from pop culture from uh, the beginning of the 19th century that was so 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 interesting but upstairs there was a lot of artwork some things that were more creepy cute than actually cute and things that for me was not really definitely cute it was called cute not kawaii but if you look at the exact definition of kawaii it must be innocent and pure and everything and not also twisted and things like that and i feel that it was a little bit too much like that and specifically what troubled me was that it showed a few pieces of fashion there was one lolita i would not say even corded it like dress and i looked up the dress that i said it was the dress itself was not the one that was shown in the expo they had taken another piece of fabric to change the sleeves and to add an apron and everything that's okay but it was in a totally different color that was not visible at all on the dress so this is not a coordinate that you would do in lolita fashion because you would tie all the colors together and make something cohesive and it was the opposite of that and so i was so surprised that he decided to shoot this as a representation of Lolita fashion and later there were also a coordinate by Haruka Kurebayashi who is one of the most famous person wearing decora and it was the worst coordinate ever it was really bad and really sloppy and okay she might have worn this but it might have been at her very beginning or something like that and it was totally not representative of what she is now and the decora movement and everything it was cute but really bad as as if this is the only representation of decora that you want to show to some people and in the shop though they had a cdc rag and and Listen Flavor, who are two good Japanese street fashion brands. So that was cool. There was another dress and the cut was interesting, but there was a naked girl on the print, which also is not kawaii. So I was like, oh, really? The fashion? This is what they showed? Okay. And at the very end of the expo, there was a very weird movie with a very weird sound, like music and everything. That very scary and depressing and weird movie was so loud in the room right next to the store than when you were shopping in the museum shop. There was this very weird music that you would hear. There was nothing carrying it, nothing really doing anything with the, the cute culture. And yeah, at the end they had interviews of artists that were saying that the world is terrible and because of that we need to go to the cute culture and that it's a way of going out but there's never only just the cute and there's darkness and everything and those people were wearing black and looked really sad and depressed and i was like okay so those are the artists that they hired to make this cute exhibition and they are not leaving the kawaii culture and the cute culture in every day like we are except for the person who uh, brought the hello kitty collection and that person said even though i moved so many times in my life so many jobs so many boyfriends and everything 
the only thing that been the center of my life and always there for me and everything was Hello Kitty and so she was the only hope or something like that connecting to cute culture the other one were like oh cute is also dark and I don't know it was so weird so honestly I did not really like this expo that much it, there were cute things but not as many as i would have thought and then we went to the cafe and it was prepared to wait a lot but i did not realize that we had to wait a lot outside in the cold in london and we waited an hour and a half and i was so happy i had my jacket because it was really windy and really cold but the wait was so worth it honestly I loved it so much. I mean, I had to go to this cafe because it's the art box cafe that normally is only in Brighton. But here they did a pop-up store with the cute exhibition at the Somerset House. And that was amazing. And when I saw the pictures, everything was mint and pink and Hello Kitty. So I had to go and it was so amazing. And previous to seeing the expo, we wanted to buy the museum uh, book, like catalog of the exhibit. And we decided not to because there was nothing interesting. But this Hello Kitty Cafe was the best thing ever. It was gorgeous. We bought so many things. I can do an unboxing for you guys if you want. No, you'll see it in my next haul. But we spent a little bit of money there. And the food was so good. The drinks were so good. It was so aesthetic. Everything. Just so you know, if you manage to go before it closes on April 14th, you can only stay 20 minutes inside once you get your food. So you need to eat quite quickly if you also want to take photos and everything. But it's so gorgeous, so aesthetic. Everybody's so nice. The food is delicious compared to usually those cafes. Uh, it's really not worth it. So I loved it, especially for the cafe, not really for the expo itself. I did the Sanrio things and I will add it to a specific Sanrio video on my Fluffile channel for the game Hello Kitty Hello Adventure but for Fluffy Gaoi honestly I was a little disappointed with the fashion direction that I went to with this exhibit but other than that it was fun and I'm so happy that I went to London especially for that and tomorrow we'll do a lot of shopping super cute store so I'm very looking for it so thank you so much for watching and remember everybody can be going bye bye